this is the third and the last demo of showing the concept of RAG and embedding where you can use LLM model to work and talk with your data. Now in this demo, uh, I'm not going to connect with Salesforce, but I'm going to read a PDF file and then we are going to talk to that PDF file. It happens a lot of time that we have 400 page of the document or 2000 plus page of document. We don't have enough time, but we really need to grasp very quickly what is going on. So now in this case, the only thing that I change compared to the previous program is I use the directory loader instead of the text loader and I'm reading the directory name data. And if you see the data, I have a Salesforce winter release. Again, I'm still using LangChain um, and I'm still storing the data in the Chroma DB so that I don't end up using a lot of APIs to convert the text to embedding and then storing back. So let's run this program. So I'm the program name here is chat GPT file. Now this is reusing an index <coughs> because we have found this flag persist as true and it checks if the persist true and the folder exist, it will reuse the index from the chroma DB. It will say what are top features of MWC. Let's see if it is able to understand it. As you can see, it is able to give me an answer that highly reusable component and it is checking the document. Do you know top winter 24 features of LWC? Now, as you can see here, when we ask a very specific question, so initially when we ask what is the feature LWC, it used the database from OpenAI. And when we ask very specific question about Windows 24, now OpenAI does not have information about Windows 24 training data. It went into the document and it really got all the information from the document itself. So can you summarize Winter 24 features? Let's see if it understands or not. Okay, so as you can see, it is able to give me like what 14 information. And if, if you see, it is still giving me about LWC information because I have enabled the chat history in my code. So team, I hope this video helps you understand how you can build LLM model on top of your Salesforce data or any other document like in this case, PDF file. Now security is not much concern because right now I'm using an open AI, but you can use a AWS SageMaker and you can have your whole LLM model in SageMaker. And you can use AWS to interact with Salesforce that we saw in our video number one. And then use AWS to interact with SageMaker and Salesforce. 